you guys haven't even seen the car let me go ahead and show you guys what it is boom that's a 2002 subaru wrx bug eye wagon got the car on the lift yo for a cali car this car is mint it's not bad Oh, a little rumble. Yeah. I love it. I like yeah. that thing. That actually sounds perfect. <laughs> and today we're just gonna test fit uh, stock 2015 Subaru wheels on the wagon. Hub Centrix. Hub Centrix 5x114. Okay guys, we just got done putting all four wheels to the car onto the car. A new day I still got a misfire code I'm hoping it is not a bad one um, so far from what I read up spark plug coil packs and then look for air backing leaks but did that already don't have any so still working on this misfire um, not sure what I'm gonna do but but the car has actually been in bird shop for a minute well, actually, no, about a week. About a week. Yeah, about a week. About a week when I saw first song, dropped out. <laughs> yeah, so we got headers removed and the up pipe right there about to replace with some stuff I brought over. That's why I'm recording now because I got I actually picked up some more stuff. So I got headers and the up pipe because I couldn't figure out for the life of me why this misfire thing was going on. But I'll get back when everything else is installed. Bert got the uh, headers back on. Hey, look at that. For eBay stuff, not bad. Looks clean. I'm just hoping it don't crack. We still got a misfire. And today we decided to do the compression test. Sad news. As you could tell by me making this video. Uh, cylinder three, zero compression. Oh shit, bro. As you guys can see, I got the wagon back. Ooh. That warm up though. Yes. That sounds louder. A lot louder with the new downpipe and everything. Yeah. So. Oh yeah, this is There it is. He just got it back from the shop. Got the NVIDIA downpipe. Uh, the heads got redone. That I got with the other downpipe ahead of time. Got a Grim Speed electronic uh, boost controller. Yeah, so pretty much it's getting there. Finally got the car home. So happy. Give this video a thumbs up if you made it this far. Because finally this project can go full out now. Welcome back to the Exhilarated channel. It's your boy Jay. And as you saw, we got a new part for my 2002 Subaru WRX. Let's look in here. So, it's packaged in pretty nicely as you can see. So, got everything. I got everything laid out. As you can see, here's the uh, blow off valve. Got the fittings to replace the little bar. Uh, I forgot what this is called. I hit blank at the moment. 
Got that, got a new gasket, new screws, hose clamp. So once you get everything hooked up, your research valve should be facing the rear of the car as it looks like right now. Then once you get that hooked up, just put it right back into the hole, line it up like that, and it should look good. So I went ahead and installed the pods, or the gauges inside of the pods, as you can see. So what I got set up is boost, wideband, air fuel ratio gauge, and then oil pressure gauge. So I got it all set up here. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and hook up all the sensor wire, or the power wires together. So I already have it all hooked up for it to go through. And I just fished the line through. Wasn't bad at all just time consuming especially when you want to just make it neat nice and neat like a professional installed it i'm no pro whatsoever so let's turn turn it on just to test it before we put everything together and i had set these to red already so this is like preset i had messed with it to make sure everything's all wired up mm, nice I got a new cat back, uh, cob cat back, connected to a high flow uh, divorce waste gated downpipe, NVIDIA downpipe. And going from there, it has no cat header all the way up to the up pipe. So the only cat is from the downpipe. Big surprise is that I got my coilovers in. Extreme lows, yeah! And check this out, here is the fronts right now. They are freaking low. I mean, yeah, they're low. Like this is a lot lower than the stocks were. No. <laughs> going more low we're gonna take away the gap all right so right now it is sitting at two inches it was sitting at three now we're putting it all the way down to one and a half inch Not even low!
<laughs> Go for All right, go fast. Your, your angle is good already. You gotta go fast. Not even low! Um, I don't know, man. Well, you guys, uh, there's actually a lot more work that needs to be done to the car, and I'm not gonna do it in one video. Like, it looks so much better than the, the regular stock control arm like this makes it look like there's a whole bunch of space inside of this wheel well now but really isn't much as you saw but now i'm gonna go ahead and knock out the other side uh, that is a torque solution and links uh end link sway bar end links and i'm gonna go take care of the other side now new ball joint pinch bolt by cutting up that part so basically to pinch weld uh, cut it up to basically to the frame or the yeah the frame and then now I'm gonna smoothen it out and hopefully when I lower it it doesn't cut up my uh, my axle because it's cutting it up right there so I finally test drove the car and yeah it is a lot more than what I expected I did not expect my car to do what it's doing so i probably might have to do a little bit more work it's rub it against the body uh might as well give you guys a look at it how it looks like it, it, don't mind the dirt it's dirty i gotta wash it but here's how she's sitting right now hey my neighbor car is so low he gotta, put, he gotta put boards underneath it to get the driveway <laughs> got a new port for the wagon is the JDM Husky. Bigger. Oh, there that goes. All right, just like, so just like most people, uh, I don't got a shop. My garage is full. So we're gonna paint this outdoors. Make it quick. Got the plastic adhesion promoter. And we're gonna spray it after I cleaned up the uh, the hood scoop. It's now time to spray it down, wipe it down, uh, and now we just gotta spray it on. And it's gonna be a dull finish. Make sure you get every little bit. Uh, as you can see, the reflection from up top, it is. It is glossy. It is real nice. There are screws. One, two, three, four, five. Under your hood. And then same goes for the hood scoop. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm using a 5 16 socket to remove all of them. Changed out the hood scoop. And check it out matched real nicely definitely a lot taller looks good and let me show you guys the comparison with the OEM it's a lot smaller this is a lot smaller for sure and that's a lot wider don't ask me to go out because there's no money in my account So if you guys made it to the end of the video, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with my videos. So don't forget to keep doing what you love and stay excited, stay exhilarated fam, and catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.